Hello and welcome to Hacks, where we try to simplify cybersecurity. Today we are back on Hack This Site looking at the JavaScript missions, and I think we're on JavaScript number six. If you don't know what Hack This Site is, it's a website that allows you to test out your sort of hacking knowledge and learn new skills. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you're new to sort of web hacking or hacking in general, you know, give it a go. You might enjoy it. I'm definitely having a lot of fun. Um, so here we can see here we're on JavaScript mission six and it says go go away JS now you see it um, Wait, so let's take the challenge So we get a message saying 56er decided to try his hand at JavaScript all was going well until he realized that he forgot to remove the unused code Which resulted in a confusing mess. He didn't mind. In fact, he did his best to make it even more confusing So this is interesting I've already completed the mission, but it's a bit reversed to what you may see in the wild. Um, this mission gets you, so it has the leftover code, which is a code from another mission, which we've previously won. And we can't use that to uh, solve the mission. Um, what we have to do is we have to find the new code to solve the mission but what you might find in the wild on application tests is that you find old unused code which could potentially lead to a vulnerability uh, potentially lead to a vulnerability if it's like using outdated dependencies or it's just like insecure code but anyway if we go here and we type in any random data we just get nope try again so we know the functionality is checking the password to see what's going on now if we view the page source and we head down to where the script is we can see the script is a lot like almost exactly like the script that we did before uh, where this variable declaration was way over on the page so you couldn't see it um, and it made you believe that the password was hack this site because it looks like this is a variable declaration here however it's a comparison so this is the old code that he's referring to and we know the password for this is moo so we can head back over here and we can try moo oh. but that's wrong um, so instead if we look around the page a bit more we can see that there is this check pass.js script now I'm wondering I'm not too great with JavaScript but I'm wondering whether this JavaScript check pass is how it's referencing the script because on button click it appears to be calling the script um, again I don't know it's just how I assume this application is working but if we visit that we can see the source of the we can see the, the script behind it and we can see there's three variables being declared dairy cow moo and ra and what's interesting is the spacing as well i don't th it has nothing to do with the mission because we don't use dairy cow at all uh, but i just noticed it and thought it was interesting and i wonder whether there's any significance to variables not having spaces between them i don't think there is but it's just something out of the ordinary and we see that moo well, the value pwns is being assigned to the variable mu and the value mu is being assigned to the variable ra not too confusing um, and then we see that the function is checking the user input which is pass and saying ra which we now know is mu and then it has quotation marks with a space in it and then it's saying mu so it's saying if the value that the user has submitted is mu space pwns then they complete the challenge so if we just come in here and we type moo space pwns and check password we should get a message message complete uh, in this case how did you do that good job so brilliant we solved the challenge um, what can be learned from this one well I suppose this is a good example of exploring applications properly properly when you're on an application test um, finding hidden codes like that that may reveal sensitive information about the way the application is built or structured some 
have even got passwords in them, hard coded. You know, it's, it's interesting what you find when you're on an application test where the application security really is bad. Um, but yeah, explore the content. Um, you know, if you're a developer, remove old content that's no longer needed because, you know, that could be a wealth of information for threat actors. If they learn how the application works or how it used to work, they may find holes in the security that way. But that's it from me. Um, I hope it helped you solve the mission and that you found it informative. If you did, give me a thumbs up and kind regards. Thank you.